Alright dude. Alright dude, have a good one. You too. I'll see you around. Yep. Something really weird is happening today. Eric Scott is running light. <laughs> If this is your first time here on this channel, I'm all about being the person God made me to be and just learning and learning and learning about our mind, about God, our spirituality, our whole, whatever we're doing here on this earth, our training for something greater. I love it. I'm so excited about it. That's what I talk about on this vlog. I think that's the best way to explain my vlog, I think. I need to figure out how to like cut that down and make that more clear. Also, if you're new to this vlog, you don't know who Eric Scott is. He's the guy that I'm starting a media company with and him and a few other guys. And Eric is always late, so it was kind of a joke that I said. Huh, huh. Look at that. There he is. Huh. Yeah, what's up, man? So where are we going? Uh, unsure. Okay. We're just taking it wherever the things lead us to this stuff. Yo, 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 shout out to everyone who thought I would never make it. I've been talking a lot about concepts and yeah, that all sounds good and it's really important to have the right perspective. But what happens when you don't quite have that great perspective yet? You still get caught in these day-to-day -day temptations and it just sucks. So let's get practical for a little bit. What happens when I'm sitting downstairs and I'm by myself and I'm just scrolling through social media and a provocative picture shows up and I'm like, damn it, I wish I didn't see that because then it's got I mean, my mind's going. My heart is beating a little bit faster. I'm starting to imagine more things and I am just starting. I, I know where this road goes. I am well on my way to falling. I know this because more, you're, okay. I know this because this whole scenario has happened in my life and one simple provocative picture has led to another, to another, to another, and just gone down this whole road, leading, building up to pornography. And then me falling again and again, and it just gets overwhelming. So here are some just practical things when you're, I'm literally putting myself into the position, I'm sitting on the couch, I'm looking at my phone, I'm on social media picture pops up. That gets my mind going. I'm like, ooh, okay, okay. My heart starts beating a little bit faster. First thing is to have the self-awareness of that, to recognize that this is happening to you. And if you allow this to keep going and you don't confront it, then you're gonna fall. It's so much easier to say no right now than it will be in five minutes, than it will be in 10 minutes if you keep going down this road. So first things first, you gotta find other people. If that is calling somebody on the phone, if that is going upstairs to talk to your parents, if that is going into the next room to talk to your roommate, that just has to happen. You can't just sit around and be like, no, 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 I don't have to do this, I'm fine, I don't have to do this, I don't, that's just suppressing it. You gotta find a replacement. Conversation is an amazing replacement. No one's around, you can't really call anybody your parents are asleep, your roommate's asleep, 
there's no one to talk to. You gotta, you have to put that phone, put that laptop in another room. You have to remove that option in your life. You have to put it in another room. You're at a weak point. You gotta take precautions. You can't let, you can't just keep scrolling social media and say, oh, I'll get over it. Third tip is pray. And I know you probably have heard that before, and I heard it so many times, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll just start praying the rosary. Uh, I'll pray the, a decade of the rosary. In my life, that worked maybe once. What I found the most effective when it comes to prayers, using my own words, not repeating something else, not repeating a Hail Mary, not repeating an Our Father, but praying my own prayer. What I usually do is I pray for that person. Whoever it was, whoever's picture I saw that got my heart beating, got my mind turning, I pray for them. That they may have self-confidence. And then I appreciate God's creation. I say, God, you did an amazing job creating a beautiful creature. Don't let my lust destroy her dignity. Don't let my lust take that, strip that from her, what you gave her. I give my lust to you. And it's when you put your own words into this situation, you really take control of where your mind is at. You can take a step back and you can breathe and understand that, no, this is not what I wanna do. I don't wanna fall right now. I wanna appreciate and give my lust to God. Number four, I'm just spitballing right now. You could jump in a cold shower. <laughs> You just jump in and that's just gonna change your mindset. You're gonna be like, wow, this sucks. I don't wanna ever do this again. Number five, go outside. You got to remove yourself from this situation. And once you physically take yourself out of that location, you're also bringing your perspective out of that location. And so like once you like leave and you go outside or you interact with someone else, then you realize, oh, that wasn't as hard as I thought it would be to say no. This is bringing much more happiness into my life than if I were to stay in my room and continue down that road and eventually fall to pornography. So that's all I got. Peace out. Be practical with yourself.